Hi LC2, I'm April, Carly Rose's mum, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to care and make the most of freshly picked flowers. This morning, Carly Rose and I went out to look for some flowers. We found so many different varieties to make up a pretty posy. We made sure to cut the stems as long as possible, and we most importantly watched out for the bees. When we got back home, we followed these three important steps to ensure that our flowers will stay looking lovely for as long as possible. Strip, snip and sit. Step 1. Give them a strip. Any leaves and flowers that sit directly in the water will rot quickly, which will spread bacteria and this will kill your flowers before their time. Be sure to remove any leaves that will sit in the water once in the vase. Step 2. Give them a snip. Flower stems draw up water and nutrients to feed the blooms. It is important to recut the stem once home using pruning shears or sharp scissors with the help of an adult to make sure that the stem hasn't sealed off or dried out as this would block the water from travelling up the stem. Step 3. Give them a place to sit. Put them in room temperature water quickly before the stems seal off again. Try putting the vase in a place that doesn't get too much sun. Bacteria can grow quickly in water, so it's very important to wash out the vase and refill it every three days. And there you have it, a pretty posy to brighten your day. Unfortunately, fresh flowers picked don't last forever. However, there are a few ways to preserve your flowers. Sometimes we receive flowers for a very special occasion or a celebration. And a lovely way to hold on to that memory is by drying out your flowers. There are several ways you can do this at home easily. A clever way of drying out flowers is by using a flower press. Hi Elsie too, I got this flower press for my birthday. This is a way that you can keep flowers forever. Three weeks ago I put some fresh flowers in which I have picked. Today I'm going to open it up and see what's happened. I'm unscrewing the walnuts. What's inside? Flowers. What happened? They go dried up and now they smell nice. So the lavender still has its nice smell about it, but it's all dried up and it's flat. So what do you think we could do with them now, Carly? That one smells too, the jasmine? What do you think we could do with the flowers now that they're all dried out? We can hang them up on the wall. Maybe we could put them in a picture frame and make a picture out of them. Or maybe we could pretend they're in a jar of water. Yeah. You could draw a picture of a jar of water and then stick the dry flowers on top. That would be cool. Great job, Carly. I just went out for a walk and I found um, I put these flowers and now I'm going to put them in my flower press. If you don't have a flower press at home, you can always put flowers between two pieces of paper and put a heavy book on top of them. Another easy way to dry out flowers is by hanging them upside down. Tie a piece of cotton to the ends of the stems. We hung ours off a coat hanger and then put them in a cupboard. Keeping them in a dark, dry place will help them to dry out, and this will take about two to three weeks. Thanks, Thanks for, watching for watching our, our workshop. workshop. Bye, Elsie, too. too.